Make it quick, little kitty. I'm starving. Soon enough, when I answer, what if someone eats a puffer fish? Zoom in! Imagine sitting at a fancy restaurant, chopsticks in hand. When a plate of beautifully arranged sushi appears before you, the chef announces it's fugu, the world famous puffer fish dish. You smile until you remember hearing that this cute balloon-like fish can take life. But how's that possible? The puffer fish, also known as blowfish, is part of the family Tetraodon today. And it's not your average fish. There are over 120 species found all around the world from the warm tropical reefs of the Pacific to the calm waters of rivers and lakes in Asia, Africa and South America. Some are barely an inch long, like the adorable dwarf puffer, while others, such as the giant freshwater puffer, can grow to more than two feet. They don't have scales, but instead sport rough, spiky skin and their beak-like teeth are perfect for cracking open shellfish. But their real claim to fame isn't their looks, it's their superpower. Yes, pufferfish are slow swimmers, making them easy targets to predators. To survive, they evolved an amazing defense. When threatened, they gulp massive amounts of water or even air and puff up into a round spiky ball. Some species can inflate to three times their normal size, turning into a floating balloon of don't mess with me. Unfortunately, that's not their only defense mechanism. Hidden within their bodies is a deadly secret, tetrodotoxin or TTX, one of the most powerful natural poisons known to humanity. There's enough of it in a single puff of fish to kill 30 adults. And here's the scary part. There's no known antidote. So, what would happen if someone actually ate a puff of fish? Well, it depends. In Japan, specially trained chefs spend years mastering the anatomy of the puffer fish to earn a strict government license to prepare it. To prepare fugu, chefs must carefully remove the toxic organs such as the liver, ovaries and intestines. Because even a single wrong cut could turn this delicacy into a deadly disaster. But when prepared correctly, fugu is perfectly safe and diners say it leaves a faint tingling on the lips, a harmless little brush with danger. But when it's done wrong, things can get grim very quickly. Yes, within 10 to 45 minutes of eating a toxic puffer fish, symptoms begin, a tingling around the mouth dizziness and nausea. Then comes muscle weakness and paralysis. Victims often remain fully conscious but unable to move or breathe. Without medical help, demise can occur within hours. So, why would anyone risk it? For some, it's the thrill, the idea of dancing with danger. For others, it's cultural pride. In Japan, fugu has been eaten for centuries and symbolizes bravery and trust in human skill. But for the rest of us, it's a good reminder. Some fish are better admired from a distance than eaten. Trivia time! 
Did you know puffer fish can change color by making themselves lighter or darker to match their environments? Also, they can move their eyes independently, so their left eye and right eyes are looking in different directions. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Tom Schiller. Hope you learned something fishy today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox. Zooming out!